Hello and welcome to ne the next tutorial on Duct Tape Expert. Today we're going to be making a uh, open ID holder. Here, let me give you an example. In here, this right here is an open ID holder. Just like right here, it's open. Just like that. So we're going to be making that today. And then... Just for another example, this is another kind of ID holder. It's the nicer kind. I have a tutorial up on how to make this. It's called a plastic ID holder. So if you want to make learn how to make this, go to that video. And then if you want to make how to learn, if you want to learn how to make this, stay here. Okay. First thing you need to do is cut out three strips that are all four inches long. The next thing you want to do is cut one in half. Okay, you want to get one strip, doesn't really matter which one, and here, move these around. Okay, and then you, you want to get one strip and you want to get half of the other strip and you want to get your card and measure just put it right next to the card and measure a little bit bigger so yes that's good okay now you flip it over and get your big piece and just put it right on top Now get your other half piece and just cover that sticky side right there. Just like that. So now we have a piece of duct tape. Here, let me show you the size. It's supposed to be on the side. So it's supposed to be about that length on all sides. So now we're going to cut these sides to make it that length. Your scissors and cut it on one side. Get your card, measure, and cut just at the right spot. So there we have a perfect sized platform for the ID holder. Now we'll make, we'll cut out the box. What you want to do is get a ruler and a pen. Where's the pen? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the pen. And put it sideways on your mat if you have one. I'm not saying you have to, but we're going to cut off a little bit more. I mean, we're not going to cut off. We're going to make a mark a little bit less than half an inch. So do that on all the sides. Just a little bit less than half an inch and it'll turn out really good. So that's what I'm doing now. Just getting a pen and marking that spot. Just like so. And it doesn't really matter if you overlap lines, like how I'm doing, I'm going all the way down and up. Because we're going to be using that side anyway, so it won't really make a difference. Now you want to get your knife and cut along the lines, so there's a big box in your square. If you accidentally go over, just tape it up. 
So once you're done, you should just pop out the box if you cut it all the way, which is really annoying if you didn't. So if you accidentally cut on the lines like that, don't just get a little piece and tape it up just like that and cut it in half maybe to fit both sides. Just tape it up like that. And the other side. Other half. Just like that. Okay. Now we have our window. Now we'll tape it into the wallet. This is the wallet I'm going to be using. I'm going to show this in the collection next collections video so look out for that do you want to get a piece of duct tape and measure that way and this way thank you not long enough Sorry, this is taking so long. Oops. Just measure that way, too. And there we have a piece. Now you want to cut both of them in half. I would recommend having the open spot on the side because it has a less, uh, it doesn't pop out as easy. It won't pop out anyway, but I'm just going to make it on the bottom just for this wallet. So what you want to do is get your two sides, get one side, and just line it up right at the edge of the window. So just right at the edge, line it up with that part, and put it where you want it. I'm going to put it right there. And if you got it right on the corner, just fold it over. Now we get the other side. And tape it just on the edge of the window. Tape it down. And then you're going to have one extra half on. It, doesn't, it depends on which opening side you have it on. But you're always going to have an extra piece when you do this. So it doesn't matter which side you choose. So, there we have our ID. It should fit nicely. Yep. So, that concludes this video on how to make an open ID holder. Thanks for watching, and have fun making stuff out of duct tape. See ya.